We just finished installation of a ground force system on our customer's 2019 Hyson Sector 750. This one, one of the reasons that we, we wanted to get this machine is there currently, or there was until we got this machine, no front mount uh, for this Hyson. So we were able to design and build this front mount so we um, can now install ground force systems on this high sun model. So this is the this is the front mount um, that installs quite simply. There's just four bolts. I don't know if you can see. There's two in the front and um, two. So two in the two in the front here and then two on the underside. Um, <clears throat> here's the, the the wiring for the winch. Um, we used the Fairlead uh, winch hook bracket, which is right here. So uh, we actually installed a roller Fairlead on, on the machine winch <clears throat> so we could mount this bracket to it. So that's what the machine winch hook attaches to for raising, raising and lowering the ground force system. This, uh, this has a 60 inch bucket which is a, a great size for for this um, size machine we installed the solenoid underneath the seat as so and uh, the neat thing that we did <clears throat> for this machine this is the the first machine where we we did a joystick um, for UTVs, it's a little bit of a challenge since there's two switches. You have the switch that comes uh, with the machine itself for the machine winch, and then we add a we add a switch for the ground force winch as well. But that's that's been cumbersome, and actually, uh, with some of the issues we had trying to install the ground force switch into this panel here it made us think of maybe that maybe there's a, a better solution and I'm, I believe that this is that better solution so with the uh, with the joystick we have up and down for the lift frame itself and then up and down for the bucket so all the functions are in that one joystick, which I, I think is is a very good solution. All right. So this was uh, oh, and the other thing uh, with this with this machine, we were able to put in um, suspension pucks. Uh, so that's what the customer wanted for his configuration and. There was an exposed half-inch rod for this shock, so we were able to install these suspension suspension pucks. So the front mount, the solenoid, the uh, the suspension pucks, and the the front bracket, uh, the winch hook bracket um, on the roller fairlead. Those were were the main components for the installation, other than um, the lift frame and and the bucket itself so this installation um, went quite well and if you have this machine I recommend I recommend the ground force system